I'm Jason V. Today, you're going to take your first steps into learning Java. Step one, we're going to print Hello World to the screen. Step two, we're going to print the numbers one through ten. Step three, we're going to print just the even numbers. Let's get started. First, we're going to make a project called Hello that's going to hold our code. Next, we'll go into the source folder and create a new class called Hello. Click down here where it says public static void main. That's our starting point function. So all our code is going to go in this main function right here. The command to print to the screen is system out.println. So we'll type that here, system out.println. And we'll just say hello world. To run the code, we'll press the green arrow above. And there we can see the words hello world in the console. Step two, we're going to print the numbers 1 through 10. So we can do that by a number of ways, but uh, we need some kind of loop. So how about we try a for loop? So a for loop is uh, has three parts at the top the initializer the uh, conditional and then the increment so step one the uh, initializer is int i equals zero so that says what the variable i starts at then the middle is the condition so we say uh, i must be less than 10 and then the last is the increment so you go i plus plus, that means that for each uh, loop, it should increment the value i by 1. Now uh, we want to print to the screen again, so we can say system.out.println. And print the value i. So let's run that and see what happens. Okay. So it's almost what I want. What I want is to print the numbers from 1 to 10. So I have what's called an off by 1 error. I'm, I'm off at the beginning because I'm printing with 0, and then at the end I'm ending at 9. So to fix that, I'm going to set my initializer to 1, and then uh, hopefully that will fix the beginning. There we go. starts at 1. Now we want it to go uh, and include 10. So my problem here is I'm saying is i less than 10. Well, when i is equal to 10, it's not less than 10. So what we need is i is less than or equal to 10. So now we see that it ends at 10. So that, that completes step two. Step three, let's print just the even numbers. So how can we do that? Well, we need some kind of if statement, and we need some kind of way to tell is the number um, even or odd. The straightforward way to do that is to wrap our print statement in an if statement. And now we need some kind of function to tell us whether i is even or odd. So uh, there's uh, an operator called the modulus operator, which is just a percent sign, where you can say i modulus 2 equals, and in this case we'll say zero. So the way this works is this tells you um, if you take i and you divide it by two, what will the remainder be? So for any even number, the remainder is going to be uh, zero. So let's give that a run and see what happens. There we go. We've got the numbers uh, two through ten, all the even numbers. That's step three. So uh, thank you for your time. Good luck programming Java. Have a nice day.